Oh my God. Look at this. I have it. I passed. Electric vehicle. How did I do it? What did I have to do to an older 80s 911 to get it 50 state legal? Let's talk about it. Okay, so came back. Amazing. Many of you may have seen on my social networks that I'm so excited. I'm spitting everywhere. I have my certification to convert a car to electric. And for those of you overseas, why is that a big deal? Well, in California, where the shop is, my, it is tough to have any fun this state, especially if you have a car that's newer than 1975. You have these, what is known as smog, you have emissions testing that you have to do, which it's really, really tough, but, um, and really strict. And some people get around it by doing clever things. Some people do things illegally, but it is an enthusiast nightmare. But now with the advent of new tuning and fun stuff with electric vehicles, electric powertrain, all that good stuff, we can have clean, no emissions, no pollutants, <laughs> fun. And this is what the team and I put together. This is the BC Moto 935, or should I say EV Moto? 935K3, which is amazing, which I very fondly call the K3V. And what are some of the things I have to make sure to do to make this legal in California as a street fairing vehicle that's now converted from petrol to EV. So first I had to take it to the, of course, the California referee uh, to call in and um, set up with the state of California a time and date that's nearby me. So I had the opportunity to go to Whittier and took the car there with me. And they had me take the deck lid off to verify that all the petrol items were removed completely and now embedded with all EV technology, which is great. Um, I had the opportunity to show them the charging port as well, which is right here. And that's the J1772 charging port as well. So they're able to verify that. Above and beyond that, they have to make sure that my brakes and lights worked well. So to be able to make sure they had me take off the covers on the brakes and make sure all the brakes were proper and they checked on the thickness of the brake pad. So to make sure my brakes are good to, good to order. When the vehicle was on, they had to make sure that my horn worked, which it does. Then indicator lights. So as you can see, I can turn the indicator light on to left and my dash shows that very clearly. And then they made sure that it showed in the front as well and the rear and the same for the other side. So if we go to right, same thing, turn the indicator to right. There we go. Shows on the dash on the nice AM dash. And then of course, indicators work all around. So have to make sure your brake and lights are working properly. And then headlights. So putting headlights on, had to make sure the headlights worked and brake lights as well. And after that, I was good to go. And I got this wonderful certificate, which I now have the opportunity to take the DMV and now has a classification of E, an electric, and certified as a pure electric vehicle. And that's it. Now I'm 50 state legal, don't have to worry about smog, worry about emissions, and it's freaking fast. So I can have all the fun that I desire. More to come. I'll share more with this car, but just want to let you guys know, in California, it's not too tough but you have to have all your ducks in a row. Talk to you soon. Cheers.